Okay, so story time. Story time within story time. Um, gosh, how many years ago has it been? Four years ago? Um, whenever I was at Sam's, I was looking at the book section and I found this really awesome book and I could not resist getting it. Um, it is a Pete the Cat storybook collection. And I love it because it has seven stories in it that are all about Pete the Cat by James Dean. And you can never have too much Pete the Cat. So I thought that we could go ahead and have a Pete the Cat week where I'm just going to read you stories about Pete the Cat. Um, you know, we've read, um, we've read White Shoes. We've read School Shoes. We've read... Um, his groovy buttons, but now we're gonna read some other sorts of Pete the Cat stories. So I'm gonna jump right in with this. And in our storybook collection, you could look at it, this is called a table of contents. And if you have a book that has more than one story in it, um, very often at the front of the book, they're gonna have this table of contents that tells you the page number that each story starts on. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're going to read the first story in our collection called Pete's Big Lunch. So let's get started with that. Here we go. Pete's Big Lunch. Man, that's a lot of food in that picture. <clears throat> Here comes Pete. It is lunchtime and Pete is ready to eat. What should Pete eat? A sandwich would be nice. What do you like to eat on your sandwiches? I like to eat salami sandwiches and turkey sandwiches. Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. So Pete opens the fridge. He takes out a loaf of bread, that seems logical, and he finds a yummy fish. I guess fish sandwiches are also a thing. He adds tomato and mayo. Hmm, I don't know if this looks quite like a sandwich. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is still too small. Something is missing. Pete knows what it needs. His sandwich needs an apple because Pete loves apples. Have you ever eaten an apple on a sandwich? I've eaten apples with a sandwich, but never on one. It still doesn't look like a sandwich. Pete is kind of so silly. His sandwich needs crackers. Crackers are crunchy. Pete loves crunchy crackers. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It's still too small. Pete is very hungry. Pete adds a pickle. Pete adds cheese. Pete adds an egg. Pete adds two hot dogs. Pete adds a banana and a can of beans. Put a can of beans on your sandwich. I don't put a can of beans on my sandwich. So I have put eggs on a sandwich before and pickles and cheese. And maybe a hot dog once or twice, but that's a different story. <laughs> Something is missing. Pete adds, get this, ice cream. He takes three huge scoops. sandwich is too big for Pete to eat. Pete wonders what to do. Pete thinks and thinks and suddenly he has a guitar now. I don't know. I've got it, Pete says. Pete calls all of his friends and he asks them to come over.
everyone goes to Pete's house, and they are all very hungry. Pete shows them his big lunch. Are you hungry? asks Pete. Pete's sandwich is big enough for everyone. Dig in, says Pete. Pete's sandwich is good. Pete's sandwich is very good. Pete's sandwich is all gone. Pete's friends are full. They liked Pete's big lunch. Thanks for lunch, Pete's friends say. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Pete says. Sharing is cool. He is correct in that assertion. Sharing is very cool.